while lot of existing and new companies are releasing software large language models data sets tooling frameworks and lot of other things around generative ai amazon and aws are still playing catch up game for instance aws is still talking about aws sagemaker which is very hard and clunky to set up and run and then their upcoming aws bedrock service about generative ai is in private preview for a long time and now amazon has said that they are releasing a new alexa device and it is again in the preview and it will be filled with generative ai features Alexa was released around 2014 and since then it hasn't really caught up despite of Amazon massive marketing engine one of my pet peeve about Alexa is its robotic tone which seems unnatural and really off putting but the good news is that with this new generative ai Alexa is going to have a more human voice which is a huge welcome change In one of the event in Virginia, Amazon has given us a sneak peek into Alexa, and the new Alexa seems promising. It seems more smarter and more conversational, powered by generative AI. It is based on a new large language model that's been custom built and specifically optimized for voice interactions and the things we know AWS customers love, which is basically getting real-time information. efficient smart home control and maximizing their home entertainment so the future of alexa looks promising one thing as i as i mentioned earlier one thing which is going to be a huge uh, difference in the new alexa is that it is going to be processing lot of other information with the context such as body language knowledge of the person alexa is talking with and also eye contact in the new alexa amazon has fused the input from the sensors in an echo the camera voice inputs its ability to detect presence with ai models that can understand these non verbal cues amazon has also focused on reducing latency so conversation flow naturally without any pause and responses are the right length for voice not the equivalent of listening to paragraph after paragraph so whenever you ask for the latest on a running game such as footy game here in australia then you will get a succinct response with only the thing which you asked for and you can obviously chat with it which is great and then we also uh, are going to see alexa that alexa will be able to take action in the real world as i said you will give it series of tasks to be done at certain time alexa will then automatically program that series of actions to take place whenever you ask it to do it and so basically this is this will be a large like motor or llm for home and this will be personalized to you with your whole uh, context for so the next generation of alexa will be able to deliver unique experiences based on the preferences you have shared the services you have interacted with and the information about your environment and obviously um, there will be a security concern around too but uh, hopefully amazon will access it one of the good thing i noticed in that uh, press release by amazon that um, people use things like catch phrases and then a lot of other pronouns and then they build up context of the places times or scenes as people talk about and then alexa will be able to learn from that and then alexa will be talking to you in the same tone and tenor so which is really cool i believe and as i said alexa is going to lose its robotic voice which is awesome and let me show you one of the example from this blog post which aws has shared so first i'm going to play um the existing alexa sound or when it was launched there is not much difference by the way and then we will see how alexa is going to sound like with generative ai which will be somewhere around next year so let me play the first one love the starry night by vincent van gogh it depicts the view from his asylum room at saint remy de provence just before sunrise with the addition of an imaginary village so now let's see what it would look like with generative ai 
I love The Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. It depicts the view from his asylum room at saint remy de provence just before sunrise, with the addition of an imaginary village. I like this painting because it's vibrant use. So there's a good difference between these two, but I believe this can be improved a lot still, because there is still some hint of roboticism in this Gen AI voice. So hopefully when they release it next year, it will be far more better. Anyway, uh, this is it about you, Alexa. Please share your thoughts. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.